Well, we're going to be working on an exercise for hip extension. Okay. So typically this can be done in the half kneeling position, but if that's not working for you, then this would be your alternative. It can, this exercise can be done for your quadricep, uh, and we're going to manipulate it so that it, get, it biases your hip flexor rather than your quad. Okay, so strap is going to go around the ankle. Uh, again, it could be dog leash, belt, so it doesn't have to be a, a formal yoga strap. I'm going to come up and across. A pro tip is to stick the hand just in the loop like this. Okay, this exercise has four phases with it. Passive stretching in itself is not as effective as that with contractions. Phase one, breathing. I'm finding my end range. I'm not up into my low back. I'm, I'm keeping my back flat, feeling the tension down the front of my right leg. I breathe in, four seconds in, eight seconds out for a minute. Phase two, what I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna try and actively ex uh, come up and out of the stretch. So it's almost like I'm gonna knee my, uh, like bring my knee up but I'm gonna hold strong on the strap so that, that all that force and that production, that muscle contraction that I create results in no articulation of the joint. All it does is further intensify the stretch in the front of my right hip. Simultaneously to this, you can bias with knee extension. However, that again gets more rectus, that is your quadricep than it does hip flexor. So the, the goal is, again, trying to bring my knee up like this, even though there's no articulation. Phase three is the opposite. I'm going to drive my right foot down into the floor, engaging my buttock, keeping my back flat, and then hitting the gas pedal as hard as I can, trying to go heel the floor, heel the floor. 30 seconds, gradually ramping up, and then trying to meet my safest, greatest contraction, which is how much force can I generate without causing any hip pain and or other symptoms that I may be experiencing. Phase four is like phase one. I breathe, I relax, I may be slightly further into the range, which we hope to be. And then after my 30 seconds of owning the end range position, I slowly and judiciously come out of it. You're going to feel sensitive. Don't be alarmed. If you, if you have to sit up, that's great. If you, you may even need to assist the leg up, depending on how those are at. The amount of intensity of your contraction is under your complete control. So you can titrate it to whatever you otherwise need. Again, the whole process, four phases, one minute, 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds. The middle two active, the last two passive.